So today I'll be taking a look at uh, Bionic Commando. Now before I go any further, hopefully everybody remembers Bionic Commando back in the day. It actually was an, an arcade game released in 1987. And then Bionic Commando on the NES came out. Uh, and that was in 88. You didn't jump. You actually just used a grappling hook and swang through the level. And you actually had, you know, a gun. Uh, and you could use things that way. But I think what was unusual at the time is you couldn't jump. And people were... This was a crazy thing. I remember going to my friend's place in 1988 and it was like, wow, there's no jump button. You just, you, can, you just use your bionic arm. But once you understood how the beyond, you know, bionic arm worked, it was amazing. It was incredible. The gameplay had changed everything. In the American version, the bad guys are known as the bads. Uh, but if you look in the instruction uh, booklet, it actually says, you know, it has a little bit of a backstory, and it actually they refer to as Nas, the Nas, I believe. Uh, which obviously, if you take a look at some of these screenshots here, this is the changes that were made from the Japanese version to the American version. Um, they actually switched all the swastikas to um, kind of like these flags or whatever. Uh, but they got rid of obviously the Nazi symbolization. And so in the original game in Japan, you were basically taking on the Nazi Empire. So yeah, that's a little unusual having, you know, you're actually fighting against Nazis. So it's funny. Actually, even in 1988, with the NES version, you knew who you were fighting against. You knew it was kind of the Nazis when you get to a certain point in the game. Uh, I won't ruin it for anybody. I won't say anything more than that. So yeah, the game was uh, really ahead of its time. Um, the graphics were really good at the time. It really, to me, it was one of the first few games that I said, Oh, this is a Capcom game. And I believe it's one of the, the one of the few games that defined Capcom right in the beginning. There's a, a few other games, but Bionic Commando definitely put um, Capcom on the map. 1988, the NES version was released. 2008 now, we get a completely redone version of the game, a remake. Usually a lot of times with remakes of video games, I think we've all played a few remakes here and there. They never captured the spirit of the original game. Maybe they, you know, improved the graphics, but somehow the music suffers. They just never seem to get that same magic back. Well, I'll be the first to say, because I'm a big original Bionic Commando fan, that Bionic Commando Rearmed is an incredible re-envisionment of Bionic Commando. The graphics are so good. Um, the music captures the original spirit and then improves upon it. So we have these things coming together. The gameplay, they could have left the gameplay the same and it would have been good, but they didn't. They improved the, the, the weapons, they improved your bionic arm. Now you can use your bionic arm for a lot more, you can use it as a weapon to grab barrels to throw at enemies and such. The in-game artwork uh, is really, really good. Check it out. Check out the original to the updates of you know the 2008 uh, rearmed version. It's obviously night and day. But it's so good. I, you know, I remember when I started seeing the first um, screenshots and concept art of Bionic Commando uh, rearmed. I was blown away. Like I couldn't believe that Capcom was putting this much effort into a game that I thought they completely forgotten about. The game is only nine bucks. Nine dollars. You can buy an Xbox Live or you can buy in the PS3 uh, PlayStation Store. Nine dollars. I would never really say this too much. But buy this game, it's really good, you will not regret it. It's like, they could have charged $30 for this game, the way it looks, it's a next gen game. Man, check it out, give it a shot. Um, there's not too many remakes that I'm a big fan of, but Bionic a Commando made me want, you know, when I played it this morning, made me want to come out and do this review. But right now as it stands, I'm gonna say, it's in the nine, nine zone for me. Uh, Everything I've seen so far is, is, is really something else. And I think if this sells well, we'll get a remake of Strider and we'll get a remake of some other games like that. Um, Capcom is really testing the waters here. They're testing it with Mega Man 9 and they're testing it with Bionic Commando. Going back and visiting old franchises and giving them a, an update or a sequel and seeing how well they sell on, you know, basically a, just a download scheme. Not a, a scheme where you can go into the store and buy it. You know, buy the actual game. You do, we're just downloading these things. 
So, so far what I played, I would highly recommend this game. Go download it. Nine dollars. You can spare nine bucks. I think you will really like this game. The co-op online alone to play with a friend of yours is worth it alone. For nine dollars. Check out the graphics. Check out the gameplay. Check out the music. It all comes together in a fantastic package for nine dollars. Um, yeah, usually I never try to be selling a game like this, but I was really, really impressed with it. Uh, and I really, really thought, uh, I was really, I should say, applauding Capcom's efforts for uh, doing such a fantastic remake. So, check it out. Until next time.